I feel like I have not talked to you or seen you in so freaking long. I think it's been about two weeks since my last upload here on YouTube. I took a mini break just to kind of get some life things under control, but we are back and I'm so excited. I missed you. I feel like we have so many things to talk about and catch up, but most importantly, my new nails i'm very excited look how cute they are they're like green yin and yang signs my little nail lady slayed it they're so cute i have been obsessed with nail art this year and i just want to do fun nails all the time they just make me so happy although i was watching this tiktok the other day and it was like every friend group has a friend with carrot fingers and a friend with sausage fingers which one are you and my friend and i compared our fingers and she has the carrot fingers but speaking of my best friend one major thing that i do have to update you guys with that i am so freaking excited about is i am actually going to see her at the end of the month and it has been like two years now since we last saw each other, obviously because of the pandemic. And I know a few of you guys may be concerned about traveling, but we are being as safe as possible. We are doing kind of like a staycation sort of thing in an Airbnb to celebrate her sister's bachelorette party. And it's going to be so much fun. There's only five of us. We're all obviously getting tested beforehand. And three out of the five of us are fully vaccinated. So I've honestly been shopping like a mad woman. I haven't had any like reason to buy clothes although you guys know i love to shop um but now that i have an occasion to shop for i've been going a little bit insane but today's sponsor has got my back you guys and they have been saving me a ton of money along the way so thank you karma for sponsoring today's video and helping your girl out karma is an app and google chrome extension that uses clever tech to make sure that you never miss a price drop or a coupon code ever again they are amazing i'm gonna link them down below so you guys can check them out some of you guys might know karma as their former name shop tagger they recently changed their name to represent all of the good karma that they put forth to help us all shop smarter and i think that's really cute you guys that watch the vlog definitely know that i love to shop especially online it is my favorite thing to do but ever since we bought the house i've been trying to ball out on a budget i love a good discount code a little coupon here and there karma just makes it so easy to help me find the best deals on products that i have already saved and love and want to keep an eye on i actually just ordered a top today that i have had my eye on for a while it is so adorable but i could not justify the price for the top so Karma let me know that it's actually on sale for 55% off and I snagged it immediately. So shout out to Karma. Karma's amazing because you can visit any of your favorite online stores and get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you save goes on sale, has a relevant coupon, or comes back in stock. One of my personal favorite features is that you can actually make lists with products that you've previously saved so that you can organize them into multiple wish lists. Like I have tops, bottoms, dresses, accessories, etc. So when I'm searching for something, I can be a little bit more mindful and make less impulse buys and just grab what I'm actually looking for. Karma also uses Clever Tech to scan the web for coupon codes and applies them to checkout automatically so you can make sure that you're getting the best deals every time. This feature is only available on your computer though, so the Chrome extension is an absolute must have. Another cool feature is that you can actually earn cash back via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. And now more than ever, it's important to make sure you're getting max value out of all your purchases. So make sure to check out the link in my description box down below and download Karma to help save that money, girl. But I'm gonna show you guys a few of the pieces that I have picked up recently because I haven't seen you in so long. So it's been a while since we have done a haul. Um, I am still waiting on a few few purchases to come in and this isn't everything that I bought. Some stuff is in the wash right now. Um, so if you guys want a spring haul, um, maybe a try on haul situation or like a spring outfits video, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to. So I made a pretty big order from Glassons recently and it was my first time ever ordering from them. I got like a bunch of cute like tank top sort of things. Very adorable. Like the quality was pretty good and the prices were affordable. I was really excited about everything that I got. So I'm going to show you a few things. One of my favorite finds is this ruched blue top and the material is so shiny and cute. It gives me like major early 2000 vibes. I love it. it. Also fits really well. I wasn't sure about their sizing. So I got a medium in all the tops except for this black one. This one's like kind of like a tight 
um, open top. So I wanted it to, you know, squeeze things in all the right places. And this one also fits really nice. The material is really stretchy, so it's not uncomfortable or anything, but I love this. And this one was really fun. I was nervous about this one. It's kind of hard to show on the hanger, but it's like this fun houndstooth print and I love it. I think this will be really cute with some black ripped jeans. I'm really loving prints right now for spring and summer so I'm loving like this fun little vibe. Okay, and speaking of fun prints, I actually made my first Verge Girl order as well. Um, I got this really fun button up. I thought this would be perfect for Palm Springs like wearing it open maybe with some like high-waisted shorts and a swimsuit. I think it would be so cute. I also got some more calm pieces from Zara. I love this one. This is kind of like a knitted tank. Um, the color is coming off a little bit weird on camera, I think, but it's like almost a neon minty tone with like this pastel pink. I love this so much. And then another like flowy um, button up top. Again, I think this would be really cute poolside. I really love it. It's super comfy as well. You guys know I am a jeans and t-shirt kind of gal, but since we're moving into warmer weather, I was trying to get some bottoms to mix it up, and I think these little gingham shorts are so fun. These are also from Glass Ons, as well as this little, it's not quite a tennis skirt. I don't really know what you would call it. Pleated skirt, I guess. And I am normally a size four in like US bottoms, but from Glass Ons, I got sixes and they fit great. But I sized up for pretty much everything because all the reviews and like YouTube videos that I was watching about them said to size up, so. I did and I'm glad that it worked out. But I'm still a classic gal, so I did get some shorts. These are Levi's 501s and I found these for a really good deal on ASOS actually. Thank you, Karma. Um, these are actually like the long shorts, but I have kind of like short stubby legs, so I kind of ended up liking them more rolled up. So I'm gonna wear mine rolled. They're still like a good like longer length. Um, which I'm very into right now, but they're a little more flattering on my 5'2 legs. <laughs> I'm just so excited about spring and summer fashion. I know I say it all the time, but it is my favorite time of year just because the weather is nice and sunny and makes me feel better, but the fashion, ugh, it's so good. The colors, the colors came, are you kidding me? Actually, I'm going to get dressed right now and change out of this hoodie that I have been living in recently. Hugo and I are running some errands today. I need to pick up some packaging stuff for depop orders that I need to pack tonight and then I want to grab some lunch. I promise I am very aware of the irony of me saying I love spring fashion when I end up leaving the house like this every day. I, I'm lazy, I don't know. Okay, we're getting tortillas for lunch because um, I've been craving their fried avocado tacos. They're so delicious. We got the tacos and the queso. This looks very fancy. It does, right? Look how yummy this looks. You know the vibe. Pulling up. The goods are acquired. I needed a box to ship some shoes. Ship some shoes. Um, and some mailers to ship like shirts and shit. That's a lot of essays. <laughs> we just got home. I think my rug was delivered. Fill you guys in on the rug fiasco that I had. I bought a rug off Etsy and it was really cute. It was like a pinky beige Moroccan vibe. I don't know. And it said it was like hand woven and everything in India. So it finally gets here. Let me let Boa inside. Okay. <laughs> And it's red! I'll show you. So this is what it came in as. Which, it's not hideous, but it's not at all my vibe. I don't really even like the color red in general. So I was super sad and then they wouldn't let me return it because it's from India. Um, so now I just have this rug and I don't know what to do with it. I'm trying to sell it on Facebook and nobody cares. So anyways, I went to replace it. I just got like a very neutral rug. It's like, I don't know, I don't even remember. I think it's like ivory and black. Simple, I don't know. I didn't want to take another risk and then end up with another weird rug. So, let's see. Oh. 
what is it? Come here. Come here, Bob. Or whoever. Whoever wants to. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is it unrolled. This does not look like the picture either. I don't know. Maybe I need to fluff it up or something. But it was like less black and gray in the photo. And this is like a lot going on, I feel. Okay, so this is what I ordered. I just, why, what is the luck with the rugs? I just want a nice little rug for my room. And life is like, absolutely not. Not doing it. I ordered this one from Rugs USA though, and I think that they do easy returns. So, at least there's that, I guess. We'll see. Good morning, you guys. I am getting my morning coffee today. Um, we have to talk about this. It's an obsession at this point. So, Target had this Starbucks cold brew. It's the vanilla sweet cream, and it had a little tag, like, two weeks ago or whatever that said new on it so i was like oh my god never seen that before it is so delicious i just want to drink this all day every day i've gone through three of them in like two weeks and i just bought two more last night so it tastes really good on its own but i'm extra so i actually just take a little bit of this sweet cream creamer from coffee mate which is delicious by the way um and i put a splash in there divine so i got a few questions lately about the um little cups that i use and my straws i got both of them off amazon these are called like beer can glasses i really love them and then just regular glass straws off amazon i like the little uh tilted ones more than the straight ones That is so good. While we're here in my kitchen though, um, I am going through some lady things. I found these Flow PMS gummy vitamins off Amazon. My friend actually did a sponsored post and I was like, that sounds like exactly what I need. So um, this is my first time using them. You're supposed to take two a day. I took two yesterday. I didn't really notice anything, but I wasn't really dealing with much yesterday. Today it's cramp city, so like let's let's hope for the best here. They taste really good. Says it's supposed to help alleviate cramps, bloating, and mood swings, which I desperately need. Um, and then I also found these. I've seen these all over Instagram, and I wanted to buy them, like order them, but they're expensive, so I just never did. And they come in like packs on the website so i'm like do i need like five packs of these i don't know anyways i saw them when i was at heb the other day these are apple cider vinegar gummies i'm a little confused by them though because it says to take one to two gummies up to three times a day okay how many am i supposed to take because yesterday i ended up just taking one i think i'm supposed to be taking far more so um let's try two today but this is supposed to help with like gut health and shit. I just hate drinking apple cider vinegar, so this seemed like a better option. Honestly, anything I can get in gummy form, I'm all over it. These also taste good. Not as good as the flow ones, but they're sweet. Like no vinegar taste or anything like that. So I'm a little conflicted today because I really want to go to Sephora and pick up a few things because I just ran out of my Huda Beauty stick foundation and I love that foundation. Do I have like 30 other foundations? Yes, I don't want to use them. So I haven't gone to Sephora in so long. I haven't really bought makeup in a really long time. Honestly, I think pre-pandemic. So um I kind of want to like look cute for Sephora because you know how that goes, but I also really don't want to get ready at all today. Just not feeling it, you know? And I am still dealing with some breakouts, so I kind of want to let my skin breathe. Um, so we'll see. Also, Sephora closes really early. Hi, best friend. Did you hear I had a person off? You want a piece? 
Wait, sit, give me your paw. <laughs> what is that, you're too excited? All right, sit, show them what you can do. All right, and give me your paw. I don't have anything in my hand. He's like, wait, show me the goods. Give me your paw. Come here, thank you. You know what, it's okay, Boba. I also get this excited over croissants. Oh no, Speedy, did you hear the news for my little lady? What, you're not into it? Okay, no. Croissants for everyone. Since I'm not doing anything with myself today, I feel like we should clean. Got a second glass of iced coffee. We're gonna tackle this. Honestly, it's not that bad. It's really not, we can do this. All right, we're done. Um, I actually, I need to sweep the floors. There's like fuzz and everything from the dogs too. But the broom is downstairs, so I'm satisfied with how this looks. Looks a lot better than earlier. Okay, so during my little hiatus, my little two week span that I wasn't vlogging, I found the cutest bags at Kate Spade. I made a little TikTok, it went viral. Like actually, it has like over 5 million views right now. Um, let me show you what I got from the collection because I only got two of the things. Here we are. I love Kate Spade bags. So I was pretty jazzed when I found these. One of my sweet followers actually gave me the heads up and told me that these were going to be available on Tuesday. So I ran my little strawberry loving buns to Kate Spade that Tuesday and snagged it. So the print is very cute. I wish that this was a backpack, honestly, um, but it looks like a little lunch box, right? It's kind of precious. You can use it with just like the little handle at the top, which is really cute, or it has a crossbody strap, which is probably how I'll wear it the most often. But um, I recently sold my old Kate Spade wallet. It was like this really pretty like rose gold one. Um, and I've had it for years, but it was too big for a majority of my bags. So right now I have like the shitty Target one that's like falling apart. So I was really excited when I found this one. It's like a little keychain, has the card holders on the back and then a little pocket um, and then this pocket as well. But it's like the perfect size and so freaking cute. So I was really, really excited about this. But since my video went viral, Kate Spade actually reached out to me and gifted me some bags. So I'm gonna show you the three bags that they sent me because they are really cute. Bag number one, how fun is this? I have not bought a big tote bag like this in years. I love the size of this. It's like a really cute gray. I feel like it will go with a lot of things, but I really like the size. It makes me feel like I'm very important. Like, I want to take this on a plane or something with like big like aviator glasses and just like, like I'm too busy. Don't talk to me. Anyway, it's very cute. Thank you. Next up, I am having a moment with greens right now. I'm a big fan. Um, oh fuck, it's coming undone. Hold on. I really like the chain on this one. I think it's really cute. You could also wear it long if you feel so inclined. I can't even put it on camera, but um, I kind of like it the shorter way, a little bit more. Here's a close up, the color is gorge, but I really think this is cool. You just like twist this little thing, ba bam. And I haven't taken anything out of here yet, so it still have like the packing stuff and the duff bag, but the size of it is really good. Like on the side, you can tell it's kind of like a, 
accordion <laughs> vibe like it'll be stretchy like you can fit a lot of shit in here okay so this beauty is the exact same style as the green one which i really love again the chain is really a fun time i just think it looks kind of classy but i love like this woven material going on i feel like this is a really good bag for spring so i think i will probably end up wearing this one the most and i didn't show you with the green one but it also has like this little back pocket as well which looks really cute so shout out to kate spade for sending those over because they are very cute i'm very excited about them um kate spade hit me up if you ever want to work together i'm always here big fan coach i know you're owned by coach you need my number i got you it's actually really scary right now and we're going into public um, I bought a swimsuit from Target the other day and it was very adorable, but I was too thick for it and I think that we need to have a discussion about Target sizing because I bought mediums in both the top and the bottom and they were way too small. We're getting dinner because I'm very hungry and I'm probably going to get candy at Target. Specifically gummy worms I think because I saw someone on TikTok eating gummy worms and I was like wow that would really just hit the spot right now so I don't know that's my plan I really would like to go to Sephora but they close at 6 p.m. for some reason Remember that one time you went to Sephora like bare face like you are right now and then the girl you just to get color match for your skin and the girl was like you need so much help to cover up the <laughs> freckles I was like it was like very upsetting at the deep. moment. <laughs> I like sad tweeted about it. Um, yeah, we went to Sephora and I was specifically asking to be matched for the Mega Forever Stick Foundation, which was having a full on moment at the time. And she looked at me and she was like, yeah, you're gonna need more than this, sister. <laughs> No, it was literally, oh my god, where am I? It was literally the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. Like, if you know, you know. It's thick as fuck. Like, I, I wore that foundation. I just needed a different color. Like, you put on, like, boom, boom, boom. And it's full coverage as fuck. Like, it covered my skin up fine. And this, I would just like to say, oh, I hate when people are next to us while I'm vlogging. Because they're like, what the fuck is that? Um... And I would just like to say that I had an interview at that exact Sephora that that happened at and I was denied. So, sorry I did not take you inside Target with us. It was honestly really chaotic. I'm going to show you what we got. It was not an exciting haul at all. Number one, these measuring cups, black, because we got rid of all of our multicolored ones that we lost most of anyways. Number two. B12 gummies. I was just talking to you about how I'm loving all my gummy vitamins right now. Alka Seltzer. Hugo has a stomach ache. Um, you already know from our talk this morning. Super! Sorry. <laughs> I had a bunch of really cute hair things. I almost bought some hair clips. Um, and some of these scrunchies. They were like the large scrunchies that I really love. They're really overpriced. Like, even these, I needed some, like, little elastic bands. I got the colorful ones for spring and summer um, to do, like, little braids and cute things with my hair. These were, like, freaking $5 for these little things. What the heck? Oh. Still. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Well, there was another brand that was $5. Maybe that's why I grabbed these. 400 Anyways, these are, like, two cents. So... Um, I also got some more of these. These are my favorite things in the entire universe. These are from Perfect Snacks. I don't like their Perfect Bars. I don't. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's so good. No, it's not. It tastes like chalk. But these are another story. The dark chocolate only. So good. It's like refrigerated peanut butter cups, but with 7 grams of protein, 20 plus superfoods. I don't know. Makes me feel healthy <laughs> while I have a treat. And speaking of treats, we got the goods, girlies. Yes, we did. We got the trolleys. How would you say this? Trolley? Trolley. I would say trolleys. Trolleys. Trolley just. Trolley just sounds. Like an internet. Trolleys. Anyways, very excited. I actually haven't had 
gonna be prepared. <laughs> what are these? Worms. Uh, worms for brains in a really long time. So I'm very excited. We got the after walk reward. He already knows what the drill is. Look at this sweet baby. Okay, we brought it inside and I cannot get over how cute she is right now. Obsessed. Hugo is about to get his vaccine right now. Okay, so Hugo went inside. I'm not allowed to go inside with him. Um, he already got it. He just has to wait 15 minutes and they just like keep an eye and see if he's like woozy or anything. Um, he said it didn't hurt. I know a lot of you guys are going to ask, so I feel like I'm just going to answer right now. If I'm getting the vaccine, I am. Hugo got it because of his work. I'm still trying to get it. So hopefully soon. I don't know. I still need to try and get it scheduled and then he got the Pfizer so this is his first dose um and then once I'm scheduled I'll be doing the same look who it is it's Hugo how was it give us the there tea it it's fine the only thing that was like a bit issue I would say well one my arm is sore but that's yeah. normal I don't really care about that you gotta do the windmill thing no I'm not I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do the windmill thing mm -hmm. um my biggest complaint about this was it was crazy in there. It was really busy. <laughs> yeah, it was busy, but like when I was leaving, it was dead. So like I I came in at a rush, so it was like a really hectic environment when you come in. Yeah. And like for honestly for you, I don't know if you, how you would handle it. <laughs> like I handled it fine. I'm not saying like I'm built different, but I'm, I, I am built different. I don't like I don't like stuff like that. Yeah, so like you wouldn't have a good time, honestly. <laughs> like you would, you would. I'd be crying. You probably would have had a panic attack in the waiting room. I was like, yeah, I was like looking around and I was like, oh, Haley would not have a good time, right? Oh my god. Okay, well that scares me now. Yeah, so I think for you we should wait when it's just like when it's a one on one, you know, when it's like oh, when you it walk was up. Like a I had a way. Fest in there? Like, it was you like just, they lined you guys up? No, they didn't line us up. They, they had, you had your own private room, okay. but like when you were waiting, it was like a big row of people just like sitting in a lot of, of chairs. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. There was a lady in there that like she sat down and she saw like there were like these group of like little kids that were just, I don't, I don't think they were getting the shock because they're not eligible, but they were, um, they had chips, right? Mm -hmm. And this lady was like, "Why do they get free chips?" And I was, and then, and then the, the nurse was like, "I don't know. I think they brought it." Oh. And then, and then she was like, "I heard we get free chips." Where's and I'm like sitting that? next to, like not next to her, but you know, she's like six feet away from me. And um, she's mad. She's like, "Why do they get free chips? How do we get free chips?" She had like an accent, like a little southern accent. <laughs> and um, the nurse was like, "No, ma'am. There's no free food. I wish there was." <laughs> and she was just like, she just started muttering to herself and her husband. She's like, oh, I thought we got free food. This is this. this, this. We're, it's not a blood drive. Right? There's and no th snacks. And then we're, we're chilling, right? It's like, mm, it's about like, I'm almost done. And then, and then she just, she just like mutters. It's like, oh, the camera moved. Anyways, <laughs> now, now that I'm the focus here. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was like, I thought we got free ice cream. Where is she getting this information? And then the nurse was like, me too. Like she was like screaming back. What? She was like, I wish we did. <laughs> and I was just sitting there like, oh my God, lady. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? like what is wrong with you? <laughs> like there's no free food. There isn't any. Okay, we just happened upon a little farmer's market god bless and we got so much hummus we got three tubs um i told hugo that i really wanted to stop in because i haven't been to a farmer's market in a really long time but i remember having the best hummus of my life at one and look what we found freaking hummus i just had the best hummus of my life <laughs> okay so let me show you what we got we got a bunch so we got the pesto garlic spread divine i love pesto um this one was really good balsamic vinegar and grilled onion so wow so Let me get you. um i think this one was my favorite yeah though. no it was the absolute favorite yeah this is a spicy black bean hummus oh god it was so good and then we also got the chips they were doing like taste tests and these chips no joke you guys they're amazing so 
very pleased. We will be munching on this all weekend. I love a good saucy dip situation. Oh, it was good. <laughs> it was very good. Um, there was actually a lot of really good things going on at this farmer's market. Farmer's market, but we just ate, so. <laughs> yeah. Got back from Sephora. I put my hair up. It's kind of freaking hot in here. Feels like summer today. Whoa! We have a, like a a big weed that popped up in our backyard. It's huge. It popped up overnight. That's crazy. Um, so we went to Sephora. They, I was honestly really surprised that there were so many things that they did not have or like carry in store. So I didn't find everything that was on my list. And I realized on the way home that I forgot to get my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I will have to order that online, which is kind of a bummer. But there's a few things. Um, I was looking for like this Koza's, I don't know how to pronounce that brand. Um, what's it called? It's like an eyebrow gel. It's supposed to look like laminated brows. I don't know. I really wanted that. They did not carry it in store, it looked like, but it's sold out on the website. But I think it's on the actual brand's website. So anyways, what I did get, um, I picked up my foundation, a must. I actually got a shade down this time. I got the Macaroon, which is 230, um, and previously I was using 240. I think it's called like Toasted Coconut or something. So I'm gonna shade down. I think it will match a little bit better. And then I've actually never used the match sticks from Fenty, but I went with Mocha, which is the third shade. Um, the other two shades looked a little too light or too cool tone. So. Hoping that this works out well. I did a little swatchy on my hand. Seems like it'll be okay. But what I am most excited about, um, I ordered this. When the heck did Ariana drop Positions? I don't think the vinyl for Positions was released until like this year. I don't know. Eh. Oh my God. It's beautiful. How? Pretty. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this. Um, I did I did sell my record player. I just realized. I do have another one. Um, but I need to buy a new record player. The one that I have now, I got, uh, I'm gonna say sophomore year of high school. It's really cool, actually. It's just, it's really bulky. Um, so I don't really know where to put it. It's like, it's fat. It's like this big. It's really wide uh, because it plays like CDs, cassette tapes like it's really cool i just want something a little bit more sleek um and less of an eyesore for like i don't know the loft or something but i will probably keep my bulky one forever i think it's pretty cool anyways that's what the inside looks like beautiful queen oh you guys it is so pretty this is such a good album to have on vinyl because you know it's kind of funky. When I first started collecting vinyls, I would take all of the little insert things with like the lyrics and songs and stuff. And I just had like a whole wall of them in my bedroom. It was kind of a vibe. Alright guys, we're about to go on a walk with the dogs. Here's the fit. Cute shirt. Urban Outfitters, a vibe. And I just got these leggings from Airy. They're the crossover ones that everyone's talking about on TikTok. Very cool. Shoes. Um, I think they're from Aldo, like a really long time ago. They kind of suck, but they're really cute. Okay, bye.